there have been a lot of phase one and phase two trials in prostate cancer looking at a variety of different immunotherapeutic approaches. Uh, unfortunately, we've not been very successful, largely because I don't think we really have the right products. We've been using single agent therapies for a very, very long time. And while we've learned that patients with prostate cancer can generate an immune response to the material that's being injected into them, it hasn't really corresponded to a biologic effect. Now for the first time with Cipolucil T, we actually have a immune product vaccine uh, that is causing, pa that's causing patients to live longer and uh, has an immune mediated action that uh, we are trying to understand. A lot of the combinations that have been out there have been uh, either ipilimumab, which is an anti-CTLA-4 targeted therapy, which is a checkpoint inhibitor, that's been given either in combination with radiotherapy. The idea behind radiotherapy is to release antigen and then allow the anti-CTLA-4 antibody to uh, become activated. Uh, we've seen uh, combinations of ipilimumab with uh, GMCSF, we've seen it with docetaxel, we're seeing uh, prostate cancer cell lines that are radiated, for example, and uh, being transduced with uh, cytokine genes and then being used. So combinations have been either cytokines in general, chemotherapy, or actually in the case of the new anti-PD-1 antibody, being in, in combination with uh, either chemotherapy or with ipilimumab or maybe even with some of the newer biologic agents that are out there. So it's a completely new area of endeavor.